Dear students, this is Vinod from Endurance Engineering Academy. So, in this video, I'm going to discuss about um, 10 months preparation plan for gate uh, mechanical. Uh, majorly, this uh, this will be for gate mechanical, and also we can include uh, PA paper. Okay, so yeah, for even for PA paper, even for production paper, also we can include this uh, strategy. Uh, let me just directly jump into the video. Okay, so what are all the things first uh, we are supposed to do uh, for the gate 10 month preparation? See, there are a few basic steps which you need to do uh, coming to gate exam preparation as concerned. These are the five basic steps. And regarding these five basic steps, I'm not going to discuss in detail about these five basic steps because these five basic steps have been already discussed in in our gate exam workshop. Okay, so there is a workshop uh, in which I have already discussed about all these five steps. Okay, all these five steps has been already discussed in detail in our workshop. I will attach to I will attach the workshop link in the description. You can just go through the video so that you will able to find out how to tackle all these five steps. Now, sir, then what about this video? Like you are saying that these things has been already discussed in your gate exam workshop. Then why we need to? What is the purpose of this video? See, very simple. The purpose of the video is to focus on the 10 month preparation plan. So how you are going to plan your 10 months for gate exam preparation. Okay. So either you, you joined in any coaching or you are going to prepare uh, by self or whatever the plan you have. Uh, this 10 months, how you are going to plan your preparation. That is what we are going to uh, discuss about. Okay. Right. Uh, the five steps I will just give you a brief, but uh, uh, I'm not going to discuss in detail. You can go through the gate workshop video. Right. So first step is obviously uh, understanding the concepts that you can either do it with the help of uh, standard books or you can prefer uh, any coaching. And uh, the second step will be proper practice when you need to practice, practice where you need to practice, how you need to practice. All these things has been already discussed in the previous videos. I will share that video and revision. Okay, there are three different uh, uh, steps which is involved in the revision. For example, like uh, not for the example, the three steps are uh, periodical revision, short notes and also uh, revision through questions. So how you need to, how you are going to do that, that also has been already made in a separate video. And uh, the fourth step will be the test series and uh, uh, I hope that once if you start your gate exam preparation you will be able to understand that how important this test series uh, is going to be okay and then the fifth one is the essential guidance which is necessary um, like from your mentor or from you from the faculty uh, from the team of uh, what is that a gate faculty or your professor whatever okay so you need a mentor who is going to guide you in a correct direction that is your fifth step right now let us jump into the 10 months preparation plan. This is what I am talking about the 10 months preparation plan. See this plan has been made by assuming that you are preparing full time and you will able to invest at least 10 hours per day for your preparation. Okay, this is an assumption which has been made and this video is uh, um, is entirely for a full time preparation student. If you are a part time preparation student, which means if you are preparing along with job or if you are going to prepare along with uh, your college, then I have already made a video separately. Okay, the students with job or with college, I have made a video separately. You can go through that video, uh, which will be which will also be available in the description. I will just post that also in the description. Okay, so this video is entirely going to be for full time preparation student, right? Now coming to full time preparation students. So how you are going to plan this uh, 10 months So from April. Okay, it starts from April and uh, until Jan. So how you are going to plan? See first if you focus on April and May, the first two months of your preparation and uh, you need to understand something that coming to preparation is concerned. All these four steps should go hand in hand. It is not like you will learn only concepts for the first three months or four months and then you will go for revision and test series. That is a wrong approach, completely wrong approach. All these four steps should essentially mingled together from your first month of your preparation. So if you are starting month is April and you could see here I have divided three different categories which means Every day, every 10 hours which you are going to invest for your gate exam preparation, 
I am splitting it into three different categories. One is learning, two practice, three revision. Okay, learning. I will suggest you strongly to start with basic subjects because uh, as a full time preparation aspirant, if you have ten months, you can start with basic subjects such as engineering, mechanics, mathematics, tenthometrics, and fluid mechanics. And I will suggest you to go through uh, either if you are attending the classes or if you are. Uh, Uh, if you are watching any video lectures, online courses, or whatever, maximum you can invest five hours per day, not more than that. Okay, maximum you can invest five hours per day, not more than that, for learning the concept for understanding. Then again, as I said, it should go hand in hand. So how our institute uh, will be doing? Like how uh, we will be doing the sessions along with the basic subjects. We will be providing them classroom workbook, practice test. topic test subject test and question bank of that particular completed subject so if for example in engineering mechanics um, uh, uh, completed free body diagram let us suppose you completed learning free body diagram immediately after completing that i will recommend you to go through classroom workbook problems practice test and then uh, if suppose there was combined a topic test anything i will recommend you to take that also so i i won't uh, i won't uh postpone these things for the later stage immediately after completing that particular topics the test and the worksheets should be done it should not be postponed okay so that is why you need to invest at least 4 hours per day for practice okay this is for concepts this is for practice now the third step periodical revision you need to invest 1 hour per day maybe in the month of april you might not need it because you will be starting with your first subject but in the may month for sure you need 1 1 hour at least per day for your periodical revision and what is periodical revision how you need to do again i have made a video separately please go through the videos you will able to find it okay so this is how you are going to divide your 10 hours okay so literally what you are going to do in april may month just check this out in april may month the concept learning uh, uh, number of hours will be 30 to 35 hours only then you will be focusing on what is that you will be focusing on uh, weekly practice that is going to be around 25 to 30 hours and then your periodic revision will be 7 to 8 hours so in this way you are able to make sure that all this four steps are taken care from the first month Okay, from the first month, you are able to take care of all these four steps, right? I hope you got the idea, right? Now, coming to June and July, once after completing the basic subjects, you can move on for uh, basic thermodynamics, heat transfer, and applied thermodynamics and IMR. And these topics you can invest around four point five hours per day. Uh, I, as you could see that initially, I asked you to invest five hours for concept, but now it got reduced by thirty minutes. okay and then the practice session still remains same you are going to invest every day around 4 hours for practice okay then periodical revision that has been increased by 30 minutes why i am increasing it by 30 minutes because in april may month as you could see you would have completed four subjects and if you are going to start with the fifth subject that is that is going to be really hectic for you so the four subjects which you completed that subject need to be revised periodically otherwise you will be forgetting it Okay, so that is all about periodic revision. Uh, you can watch the video to know more. Okay, about periodic revision, I will attach it in the description. This video is not about not about these five steps. As I said already, we are not talking about these five steps. This video we are focusing on what is that? Uh, we are focusing on the uh, how to divide your time for the for this uh, for this year. Okay, for the preparation for the ten months, right? now coming to what is that coming to august and september okay so you are going to invest 4 hour per day and then uh, one of the very big subject production engineering you are going to manufacturing engineering you are going to deal in that month and also since production is very big a subject i am going to give you one small subject in that month that is general aptitude and balance you are going to focus only on what is that some of the uh, easier uh, like the second step and the third step is almost same Okay, the practice and the, and also the periodic revision; those two things are almost same as that of uh, in June, July month. Okay, now uh, moving forward in October and November, uh, I'm I am just going to maintain same four hours. But as you could see in this August month and the October November month, thirty uh, minutes of your prepare uh, practice time has increased. Okay, 
and periodical revision time still remains as one and a half hours but in october november i am adding one extra thing which is weekly weekly one mock test should be taken please start your mock test from october itself okay please start your mock test from october itself please don't delay okay please don't delay it will not work okay weekly one mock test in october november and in december as you could see from december and january every alternate days you need to take mock, mock test without fail okay see august september and october november the schedule will be almost similar pattern except in august in august to august and november mock test every week that has to be taken there is only one extra thing which you are going to do and december and january by november end i'll be completing entire syllabus if you follow the pattern exactly if you follow this pattern even before november end you will be completing it if you follow the pattern exactly and in december and january you can full and full and fully practice focus on these three steps okay practicing revising and test series those are the three things which you are going to do in december and january if you follow the these procedure correctly first step you will be completing it completing it in november mid itself so after that you can completely focus on these three steps okay practice revision test series alone okay right now sir you might ask me a question sir like only four steps are there why we need the fifth step yeah that is actually that is actually a good question see the idea here is uh, yeah this is an ideal plan right out of the plan which i have given you from april month to january it's an ideal plan but not every student can follow this ideal plan this is an ideal plan maybe few students can follow and few of most of them cannot follow okay so like maybe 50 50 we can keep and if suppose maybe in the month of may or june you are getting stuck somewhere you are getting very less marks in your test series or you are getting um, you are not able to go with the flow you are, there was some issues there is some motivating factor which is missing that is where the guidance plays a role okay where the faculty will be faculty or the mentor who you are you are going to be dependent on he will be suggesting you what to do what not to do see majorly coming to gate exam as concern what not to do is also very important okay so those are the things which will be periodically monitored from the uh, from the faculty and as i said already in our institute that is how that is how we used to do we will be periodically monitoring the students in our uh, classroom coaching we will be regularly monitoring them we have maximum strength of uh, 50 students per class since there is only 50 students per class it will become very easy for us to directly monitor the students and then uh, to uh, give them what what should be done and what not what not to be done all those things okay right so i hope you got the idea regarding the guidance also now so now you could uh, give a brief uh, like you can understand a summary of this see uh, 30 to 30 hours initially i am investing in concept then it is reducing a little then it is further reducing and then it is maintained constant for the four months and then finally for the last two uh, months you are going to entire three hours you are going to invest in step 2 step 3 step 4 concept practice and uh, what is that concept practice and you are going to focus only on revision okay and uh, first 3 months gradually you could see the periodical revision time has increased okay and then gradually the uh, practice time also has increased okay right so that is how it need to be initially you can invest more time for concepts but it should decrease gradually and then practice and revision time should increase gradually and finally 2 months entirely it should be practice revision and test series only okay this should be the ideal plan and please don't um uh follow the wrong strategy which means uh, depending only on the concepts for initial four or five months that is not going to work you need to split it you need to split then only it will work okay right so moving forward uh concepts as i already given you the subject order also and uh, anyways i'm i'm giving you it in a separate uh, slide and then uh, these are the books which i will suggest you if you are not going for any coaching and then you need to what is that you can plan with these books and uh, again these things i have already discussed in another video i will attach that video also but if you want to note down you can note down uh, the books which is present here and then uh, uh, coaching it is going to be choosing a right coaching is actually very important okay what is mean by uh, uh, what is mean by choosing a right coaching see um, see the the plan here is first 
go through their demos okay go through their free courses go through their rank list uh, ask the student that is go through google review go through play store review because uh, google review is something which you can depend on you just go to google and then check their google reviews okay in the play store and you can check their play store review okay so by going through the reviews of other students those who already studied there you will able to understand okay what type of coaching they are providing you and then you need to decide whether you are going to go for an online coaching or offline coaching see coming to online and offline coaching offline coaching online coaching is for the students who are who are highly disciplined okay if they if they are able to uh, do their work properly from their home without the steady environment which is required then online coaching is preferred but there may be for there may be few students uh, there may be few students who might be needing offline uh, courses in order to make sure that they are uh, uh, in order to make sure that they are getting uh, the steady environment which we will be providing in offline okay that is what we are doing it in offline courses right i will just give an idea for example in our offline course we have a study library facility where the student can utilize it for their preparation and also in our offline course we will be having one to one individual focus where we can directly discuss with the students and the student can directly discuss with the faculty um and that will provide them uh, that will able to make sure that the doubt will be clarified uh, very quickly as yes, of course we are providing online courses also but as i said already online courses are for the students who are little bit disciplined and offline course is for the students who need that steady environment which can be which can be obtained only from offline offline courses okay and uh, you need to choose a mentor for your guidance and then you need to check i, I mean i'm talking about the coaching how to choose the coaching you need to check how the guidance are provided and how the doubts are clarified again let me take an example where our doubt support will be directly one to one doubt support if a student ask a doubt faculty will be clearing the doubts directly to the student without uh, without any hesitation or without any problems okay right now that is about selecting a coaching see this is something which you are going to decide um for your life right uh, choosing a coaching is for your life so take your time and then analyze it and then decide okay it is not like you are going to decide it in a rush so be patient take your time analyze and then decide okay and moving forward the courses which we offered again i am not going to say much about my course but you can go through our demos you can go through our google reviews play store reviews you can go through our uh, you can come and attend offline class one day there will be one free day free session in offline or else for an online course you can go through our free demo so i am not going to talk much about this the three points which i wanted to highlight is in offline course there will be only 50 students in the class and will be having individual focus and there will be study library facility and online courses it is going to be similar as most of the other institutes are offering but just you can check our quality through demos okay right these are our uh, last 3 uh, years result 21 22 23 and this is for this is from 24 okay so if you have any queries you can uh, you can contact us and i hope that this particular study plan uh, will be helpful for you okay thank you